I could stop and paint my nails right now. They are looking a little rough, but we need a build, so there is no time for that. What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. There is something I've been wanting to try. Build a dream house. Well, not this one. I want to make one inspired by Barbie the movie. I've seen some pictures online showing the packaging of the new dolls inspired by the movie, and on the back, there is this all pink dream house. We're gonna try and build it. Don't know how this is gonna go. I'm a little nervous. For this project, we are going to recycle some of our wooden box rooms made out of wood panels from the Dollar Tree. This is one of our stackable rooms that we made in our DIY stack and style dollhouse. It has lighting, which should come on. There we go, it has lighting, but it is totally not pink, so we need to get some paint. I have pink and white acrylic paint, and we're gonna pull apart the rooms that we hot glued. I just pulled my rooms apart. However, in the comments, many people say you can use a hairdryer to soften the glue. Since these rooms are made of wood, we're gonna give it a try. You know what? I think I used tacky glue on the bottom of this one and it's not budging. But I used hot glue on this one and it worked. I continue to pull them apart as much as I can this is our wooden kitchen box room. It is two parts and I'm going to separate them. For the most part, I'm gonna keep the kitchen intact. This is a small kitchen. It works well for this space. But let's take out this shelving. And I accidentally pulled the cabinets off the wall. So much for keeping the kitchen intact. I just pulled out the refrigerator and I have to remove this contact paper because it's ripped and I just removed everything. Okay, we're doing this. Let's paint the cabinets pink. Wow, that's a lot of color, but we've already started, so we are committed. And let's cut foam board and let's cut recycled paperboard to make faux doors. I make a large rectangular box with faux doors, then paint it pink. Let's mix a lighter pink paint by adding a little white and paint the side wall. Starting to get nervous. I hope this turns out okay. I decided to make it a little lighter so we have more contrast between the walls and the cabinets. And let's use the excess paint on an unused board because we might need it later. And we can start repainting some of the rooms that we've already taken apart. Hopefully we will be able to cover all of this blue. It might take a few coats. I put the marble contact paper back on, then glue the cabinets and refrigerator for our little kitchen update. We painted the island as well and this time we are going to glue the second room onto the side, then paint. And I'm painting the walls a darker pink with a little texture because it is difficult to cover that black paint. And now we have a very pink room. Since it's only two rooms, it can still fit on our bookcase if we need to store it we can bring back the original table and chair set that we made for this space, or we can use these white chairs we bought on Amazon with a Barbie table. That way, we can use Barbie accessories if we want. Let's take the other side to our wooden kitchen and clear it out. This is a faux window, so we can just remove it. Let's remove this wall to get the bookcase. And let's use this box room from our dollhouse kit versus video. Let's clear the room. Then let's pull the room apart. Got it. Then I tape it off and add a little paint and turn this green room 
into a lovely shade of pink. I'm painting the furniture white because I made a mess. For the sidewall, let's use one of our window cutouts. On the other side, it is currently gray with black shutters. Let's paint it light pink. Ah, this is a lot of pink. I painted the floor white and glued the two pieces together. Then glue on the walls with the lighter pink wall on the side. Let's add back our TV and add a pink couch. This one is a jewelry box. I'm going to use one of our Amazon Fun Finds as a coffee table. Add a few 3D printed items, some artwork. That is from one of our Barbie style videos. Add a plant or two. And I think this is a pretty nice start to our little space. If we want to add another floor, then we have to add a ceiling, which means we are going to need lights. Our old rooms had these tap lights, so I'm just going to reuse them. However, we will need a support. Our walls are 14 inches high, so I'm using two one inch blocks and seven 12 inch wooden dowels. I glue a wooden dowel to the center of one of the cubes, glue the remaining six wooden dowels around it, glue the second block on top, then paint it, then glue it underneath to make columns. And we can use our remote to turn on the lights. Wow, that's bright. Well, we definitely have a well-lit space and the two columns can act as a doorway into the house. All right, I think we have time to make one more room. And since the bottom floor is separated into two pieces, it's a little easier to move things around. We still have a window and a doorway left. I've already painted this one pink on one side and a lighter pink on the other. And I started to paint the outside of the window pink as well. Let's take two more boards. We can use these for a back wall or the ceiling since they are a little damaged. So I'm going to glue these together, then flip it over and paint it white. Let's take two more boards and glue them together, then paint it pink. While waiting for everything to dry, let's take two more boards I have the flat side facing up on one and the frame on the other. Let's glue them together. The top of one of my boards is already painted white and I painted the frame white as well on the other one. Let's just touch up the paint a little. Cut and glue together foam board. Mine is about four inches tall. I paint it light pink, glue it onto the back of the boards Take water scrapbook paper and glue it into the recess to make a quick pool. Our walls are just about dry, so let's glue them onto a white painted floor. I put the white wall with a window on one side and our pink doorway on the other to make another room that we can use for whatever we want, like a bedroom. This is the bed from our Rainbow High House versus video. We can add a small nightstand on the side. That's a recycled LOL surprise capsule from a previous video. Add art onto the wall to give us a nice little start to our room. Place the pool right outside so the dolls can wake up in the morning and have a swim. And all of this fits on top of the first floor giving us our very own dream house. Sorry, it's a little too large for my film area, which is why I am very happy that these are four separate units. Thank you for joining us while we painted our dollhouse pink and made our own dream house. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye.
Just you.